right guys, welcome to your first math lesson. So today is module one, lesson one. So what you're gonna need is your math binder and you're gonna need to go to the section that says homework pages and you're gonna go to the first page. So just like you would do if you're watching a video that I'm recording or one that I send out that's Mr. Dwayne, you are going to only have to do the problems that we do together. You don't have to do every single one. Now, if you want some extra practice and you want to do those extra problems, that's perfectly fine. That's awesome that you want some extra math practice so you can do the ones that we don't do after the video is over. If you ever have any questions, you can ask them during our remote learning um, Google Classroom, Google Meets during uh, at 1.30 each day. Um, so if you have any questions, you can um, ask them during that and we can go over them. So you're gonna do the math problems first with me, then you're gonna go to your Zern lesson. So your Zern is on Clever, you can get to Zern through Clever, and you will go to the lesson one Zern lesson. So you're gonna use your math notebook, go to the Zern notes, and you're going to use the first lesson here. And you're gonna follow along and you're gonna get all the way through the Tower of Power, then you're going to go to your back to your checklist and do the exit ticket for that day. And that's how I'm gonna know if you understood what we went over. And if you have any questions or if you get a bunch of stuff wrong, I might be re reaching out to go over them on a Google Hangout, on a Google Meets. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So you're gonna to need to be back on module one, lesson one, so that first page, okay? And this little post-it notes so that you can keep your spot every day. You don't have to search for it. So you, after we're done, you can just move your post-it note to the next page. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're gonna start with the place value chart. So I think you learned this in third grade, but a little refresher. This is, it's a lot of refocus, is a place value chart, okay? And so we always wanna start at the other end, at the ones place, and work our way over. So what we're going to do, anytime it asks you to label When it asks you to label the place value chart, you're going to put your place values in each box. So this first one is the ones place. So you're gonna to wanna to write ones in that column, all the way on the right. Now if I'm ever going too fast, you can always press pause and go ahead and write down everything and then restart the video. Okay, so ones, and then we have tens, then we have hundreds, and then we have thousands. So if you need to catch up, you can go ahead and pause your screen and write all those down. Okay, so what we're, the question says is 10 times four ones equals. So basically what that's saying is what's 10 times four? I think we know what 10 times four is, but we would need to show our work on the place value chart. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write down four ones. So one, two, three, four. There's our four ones, okay? So go ahead and do that on your page. Now we're gonna multiply that by 10. So when we multiply that by 10, each one of these fours gets a, a nine underneath it to make 10. Okay, so we're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, So now, if I counted all of those up, how many do I have? Well, four times 10, or if I count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 31, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. There's 40 ones now. So I'm gonna write 40 ones. Now, in my place value chart, I cannot have this many in this column. I need to fix this, okay? So I can't have all of these in the ones column. I need to move them over to the tens column. So what I do is I grab a group of 10 and I move it over. I grab a group of 10, I move it over. I grab a group of 10 and I move it over. I grab a group of 10 and I move it over. So you go ahead and do that now. Again, you can pause your screen at any time. So now I have four tens, okay? So I have four tens, I'm gonna write that right there. And four tens is the same as 40. So four tens equals 40. So now how I like to do this is since I used all these, I 
have my four, so my four tens, and I have zero ones. So if you look, you can see this makes 40, which is what we have up here. Awesome, so that's the first one, we're already finished. We know that 10 times four ones is 40. Let's go ahead and move to the next one. I'm gonna erase my screen, and I'm gonna hopefully, no, no, do you wanna move this down? Yep. And we're at, this time, we have 10 times two tens. So I'm gonna start in my tens place, but I don't know where that is without my labeling my place, place value chart. So go ahead and label your place value chart right now. So I have ones, I have my tens, I have my hundreds, and I have my thousands. Let's go ahead and do that on your page. Okay, and so then now I'm going to write two tens on there. So I have one, two, tens, two tens. And now I need to multiply that by 10. So again, each one is going to get 10 in the total column. So I'm going to add nine to each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, can't have that many in the column, right? I can't have more than essentially nine. Once I get to ten, I have to move them over. So I'm going to move this ten over to my hundreds place, and I move this ten over to my hundreds place. And oh, I skipped a step. Before I did that, I had twenty. Tens. I'm gonna write that up there. I have 20 tens. So 20 tens is the same as having two hundreds. And what is two hundreds equal? 200. Okay, so two or so we had 20 times 10 is 200. So essentially, I'm just adding a zero to the end. But Okay, so my little trick from before, I've already used these. Okay, so this is zero, there's nothing in the tens place, there's nothing in the ones place, and I have 200, so if you can see here, I have 200, okay? All right, we'll do one more with the place value chart, and then we will move this down. So now we're on C, where it says 500 times 10 equals how many hundreds? So, I'm gonna go ahead and Fill out my place value chart. Ones, oh, we're using that this time. Tens, hundreds, thousands. Okay, so I started with five hundreds this time. So I'm gonna go to my hundreds column and I'm gonna write five of those. Now if I multiply it by 10, I'm going to add that to have the 10 columns there. 10, or five columns of 10. Five times 10 is 50. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that was a lot. So go ahead and do that on your page. If you didn't do it while I was going, Go ahead and add, you're taking five times 10, essentially, and getting 50. So I have 50 hundreds. Whew. I can't have that there, right? That's way too many. So I'm gonna group them up in groups of 10 and I'm gonna move them over a place value. So I'm gonna group it up, move it over. Group them up, move it over. Group it up, move it over. Group it up, move it over. Group it up, move it over. So now, how many thousands do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I have five thousand. Which if I look at my little trick, I'm out of hundreds now, I've used them all up, so I have zero there. I have zero tens, zero ones, and I have five thousands. So that means that I have a total of five so each time I move them over, I just have to have 10 in a group and that makes it one in the next place value. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go to the next page now. And I'm going to go to these questions where it says complete the following statement. So 
Okay, so for these, we're just gonna do a couple. 10 times as many means the same as the multiply. So when it says times as many, I'm multiplying. Okay, so I'm multiplying it by 10. So 10 times 100 is 10 hundreds, right? Because I just multiplied one times 10, which is 10. 10 hundreds or 1,000, because I would be able to move that one over, one over to the thousands place. Now I have 10 times as many, so I'm, that's my multiply, means multiply, 10 times as many means multiply. 10 times as many as blank hundreds is six hundreds. Well, what times 10 gives us 60? Six. So I have 10 times as many as six hundreds is 60 hundreds, okay? or it's the same as six thousands. So if I had my place value chart, and I had 60 hundreds, I can't do that. I gotta move them over to give me 6,000, okay? Here's the last one we'll do. Blank as eight hundreds is eight thousands. So I get my eight hundreds is the same as eight thousands. Well, I'm gonna take 10 times as many as eight hundred. So my answer for this is 10 times as many 10 times as many as 800 is 8,000 or, right, 80 hundreds, right? That would be the same thing. 80 hundreds is the same as 8,000, okay? All right, so that is the last one we're going to do on that section. Let's go ahead and skip to the question where it says, I believe this is in your book. Yes, so we're on the number four in your book. Number four, my pages are just different than yours. So number four says, Katrina saved $200 to purchase her tablet. That all of us would want a tablet right now as we're remote learning, right? Katrina saved $200 to purchase her tablet. Her father spent 10 times as much money to buy his new computer. How much did her father's computer cost? So I'm going to take, Katrina has, Oh, my little pen on. Katrina had $200. But her father spent 10 times as many. 10 times as many is that multiply sign. So 200 times 10, we can either one, draw a place value chart and see that if we have two in the hundreds place, we move them over. So let's go ahead and do that quickly. We're just gonna draw our quick spot, ones, tens, hundreds. If we're in the hundreds, we're also gonna need thousands. My bad. So remember, if I'm going too fast, pause your screen and restart if you need to catch up. So what I did was I drew a place value chart and I wanna find two hundred. So I'm at 200, I'm gonna write 200 here. And if I multiply it by 10, we do exactly what we did before. We're going to make them in columns of 10. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay. And now if I can't have that many in a column, I gotta move them over. So I'm gonna move this one over to the thousands place. Move this one over to the thousands place. And now I have 2,000 because I'm out of these. I have no tens, I have no ones. So 200 times 10 is 2,000. Now, I might have some parents out there already giving you your, the little tip of how to figure this out without doing all that work. If I multiply anything by 10, all I have to do is put a zero at the end. So I have 200, I multiplied it by 10, all I have to do is add one more zero. That's the quick, fast way to do it, okay? All right, so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go ahead and get in your binder, go to Zern, and you're going to do lesson one Zern. Lesson one Zern. You're gonna fill out your notes. Looks pretty similar, huh? Then you're gonna go back to your checklist and go to that exit ticket. Good luck, guys. Remember, if you have any questions, make sure you reach out to me.